Hello and welcome to this introductory tutorial to the Omniverse particle system. In this tutorial, we'll be creating a particle system that uses another particle system as a source. We'll also be inheriting values from the source, like color and velocity, and adding in a noise field to give the trail some interesting movement. So the first thing we need to do is we need to add our source particle system. So in stage, let's right click and create a shape and, and add a sphere. Then with the sphere selected, go up to Create, Particles, with Particle Visualizer. And this is all we really wanted to do right now. We're going to be making tweaks to this in a little bit. So to keep things organized, let's go to the Particle System and double click it. This is our source, so let's name it that. So Particle System underscore Source. That's all you really need to do for that. Now we don't need to see the sphere source for the, the particle system source, so let's turn that off in the stage with the I uh, button. Next thing we want to do is we want to actually make the trail limiter. So let's open up the particle system source and then click on the solver. With the solver selected, go up to create particles and then add in a with particle visualizer. Now you can use any of the options. Uh, you can use a geometry replicator or a point instancer. It's up to you as far as what you want to, uh, the end product to be. Now, similarly to the particle system source, let's name this one particle system trail so that we know which one is which. Okay. The first thing I want to do is I want to change some of the uh, source behavior. So let's go into the emitter property and then go down to the random speed and make it 50. So now we're giving the source a little bit more, more range of speed. I also want to change the lifespan of the particle. So let's do random lifespan random to 0.5. And then the last thing I want to do is I want to have the trail pick up the color from the source. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on generate color and opacity, go into color, and I want to zero this out. Now you can see there's no, there's no source. It's just black. But what I want to do is I want to make it a random color. So let's add one in X, Y, and Z in the random color. And now you can see that the source has a uh, random co color every time it's spawned. Now that's the first thing I want to do to the source. We're going to come back to this in a second when we, we add in a noise field. But um, next thing I want to do is I want to make the trail a little bit more visible and then also to inherit the color from the source. So let's open up the trail, click on the emitter, and we're going to make some changes here. First thing I want to do is I want to up the spawn rate because right now it's only spawning 10 for all of the other 10 particles. So it's basically one particle per source emission. So I want to make this a thousand. Now you can see we have a little bit more of a line, line trail going there. Now, the next thing I want to do, I don't need the emission cycle. Let's uh, make the speed zero. And then with random direction, let's make it 0.2 in X, Y, and Z. Next thing I want to do is I want to change the lifespan of this. So let's make it 0.5 because I want to give a, a random range on that as well. And then to inherit the color, I need to click on Generate Color and Opacity, and then also make some changes in the Emit from Particles. The Emit from Particles group is used specifically for particle source emissions. This allows you to inherit parameters from the source and apply them to the trail as a multiplier. So the first thing I want to do is I want to make sure that the particles are inheriting a little bit of the velocity from the source. So right now it's set to zero. Let's make it 0.2. And now you can see that it, the particles are moving out a little bit more. And then because we have the generate color and opacity on, we can now inherit the color from the source here. So let's click on that and then make that one. So now we've got a particle and a trail and the trails are emitting the color from the source. I want to do one more thing to this particle system before this tutorial is over. Right now, all the uh, particles are going just out in a direction, and I want to give it a little bit more visual interest. I'm going to add in a noise field. What we need to do is we need to go into OmniGraph. So click on OmniGraph Editor. And uh, now that we're here, I kind of want to show you a couple of things about how the particles are being set up. So right now it's an output from the solver. Uh, this is the particle system source. And then it's going up to the particle system trail in the inputs source particles. 
So your connection is here. Now let's say you made a bunch of other particle systems and you want to connect them up. This is how you would do it, where you have the one as a source and the other as a trail. So next I want to do is I want to add in a noise field. So I want to move these over just a little bit. And then I want to tab in this uh, particle system source field and then type in noise. Noise, actually. So click on that. And then what I want to do is I want to connect this up. So let's take the output particles and then left click drag it into the input particles. And then the output particles here drag this into the solver input particles. Now you must put a field before the solver. So now you're going to notice that nothing is happening. And that's because we don't have a source for the noise field yet. So let's right click and then create a shape, a sphere. Now with that selected, I want to make this a thousand. And then I'm going to hide it because I don't really need to see it for the purposes of this. Now that you have the sphere hidden, we need to get it into OmniGraph. So just left click the sphere and then drag and drop it into this world particle system source box. Then bring this down here. And all you need to do is connect the this connector to the prim. And now you can see this is moving a little bit. Let's close OmniGraph. And then the last thing we want to do is I want to change a couple of settings in here so that uh, you know it looks it looks a little different. So in the particle system source, let's click on the particle system noise force field. Then we want to change a couple of these settings. Let's change the frequency to 1.25. And then let's change the magnitude to four. So now we've got some particles swirling around. In this tutorial, we created a particle system source that we used to trail some particle systems. We also inherited colors and velocities from the source to the trail. And then added a noise field to give a little bit more visual interest.